Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. Wanted to bring you a little bit of my shoulder workout from the other day. And as you guys know, if you've been following my gym videos, shoulders have for a long time been uh, a muscle group that I feel like needs a lot of work. But, you know, over the years that I've been training, I think I've been, you know, training for bodybuilding for about two years now, uh, they've grown quite a bit. And I'm really proud about that. And not only is, you know, is my strength coming along, but the, the, the muscles themselves have definitely grown. They're getting more definition. And uh, it continues to be an area, you know, I mean, <laughs> every every muscle group continues to be a muscle group that I want to put emphasis on and have continued to grow. My shoulders especially. I've been trying to do, you know, a little bit of shoulder exercises, even on days where I'm not doing shoulders, just some, some flies and stuff like that. But especially my overhead dumbbell pressing has come along a lot. I'm getting more used to you know, to, to the, the way the, the movement should feel in my muscle more than just moving the weight around, you know what I mean? You know, actually getting in touch with the muscle and having it, you know, stretch and contract in the way that I want to in order to help it grow. And how I normally structure my shoulder workouts is I'll start off, you know, recently I've been doing cardio in the beginning and doing about 15 minutes of cardio. I actually been doing 16 minutes of cardio, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I just like the, the cardio adding up to 32 because it's like my favorite number or something. But regardless, that doesn't matter. Do a little bit of cardio in the beginning. And then I will go over to the free weight section, and I will just hammer uh, overhead dumbbell presses forever. I will start off with a weight that I can do about 12 of, do a couple warm-up sets at that, then I'll drop down to a weight that I can only do like 10 of, then 8, and then, and then sometimes I'll even go as low as 6. And every time I finish a set of dumbbell presses, I will do some of these flies. You know, I'm doing these with, you know, probably about half the weight that I'm using for my presses usually. So, you know, I'll start off with about 50s to warm up. In terms of my presses, then I'll do 25s with flies, and then as I move up, I will also move up my fly weight. And just because that, that's the way I, I enjoy doing my workouts. Some people like to hit their heaviest sets first and then go back down from there. You know, use the use their absolute maximum strength and their absolute maximum lifts. I kind of do it the opposite way. I like to start off light, get warmed up, get everything, you know, get the blood flowing, get my muscles loosened up. And as I continue to fatigue, you know, I, I put myself up against uh, increasing resistance and I don't know I, I kind of like that idea you know you, you you're facing your hardest challenges at your most fatigued and for whatever reason maybe that's just a mental thing maybe that actually does translate into something physical but for me that's how I like to structure my workouts it allows me to sort of focus my intensity my mental intensity as I go through my workout and really uh, really have to give my best effort when I'm the most tired but regardless uh, I will also do some curls on my arms and shoulder day you know because I do have a day now, pretty much, where I will do um, a more of a focus on my arms, like biceps and triceps. But on my arms or on my shoulder day, like I still find myself calling it arms and shoulder day because I will throw curls in. You know, I'll do my presses, I'll do my flies, and then I'll also throw sometimes throw a set of curls in in between those. But a lot of my workout, the bulk of my workout, is revolving around dumbbell presses and dumbbell flies. And I'll do flies to the front a little bit. Sometimes I'll do them more to the side. Sometimes I'll lean over and try to use my rear delts to do that pulling. And uh, all of this is just designed to just pound my shoulders with reps because I'm really not that strong. But what I can do is a ton of volume. And I do feel pretty fatigued. I do feel pretty satisfied at the end of my workouts doing them this way. But one of the things that you guys are going to have to figure out is how to do the workout that works for you. Some people will like to do, you know, low, low sets of low reps with really high weight, just like some really intense sets, you know, three or four sets and call it good. I kind of like to do a ton of sets with a pretty good amount of reps because I do find that challenging, but it's also the kind of challenge that, you know, I'm able to meet and I'm able to really dig into my muscles and try to get every last muscle fiber going at the end of every set pretty much. So I also throw in some hammer curls there, just hit the bicep a little bit differently. And now I've also been doing some upright rows recently. I've really enjoyed this exercise because this helps my rear delts. I feel it, you know, pretty much all over the entire, all three sides of my delt during this. Maybe it's because I'm just doing it wrong, but I feel like I can activate any part of my shoulder that I want to, but it also helps grow your traps a little bit. Of course, there's form breakdown here at the end, but that's intentional. I'm just trying to gut out as much of, you know, the rep as I can at the end and uh, doing pretty good. But yeah, the upright row is something I've been enjoying a lot for your, for your shoulders, for your traps. I want to try to work on that, the, the, the sort of back side of the shelf, as I call it, the shelf that's formed by your shoulders and your upper chest and your traps, which is a, another area of concern for me. But things are coming along. I'm growing, still feeling good, still feeling strong through my, my diet, and that's what you want. So anyway, guys, that's my shoulder day. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And absolutely, guys, keep showing these workout videos love because I really enjoy making them for you. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!